Look at this, folks. I've uh, been mentioning my videos, I believe anyway, that, you know, it's late summer, um, pretty much any time after the honey flow, I start to have problems when I do these removals to where I bring the hives home and everything seems fine, everybody seems healthy, and then about a week later I go out and check the hive and it's empty. They're gone. And I can't figure out what was going on. I've asked a couple different people, tried to get some ideas, couldn't figure it out. And I was thinking maybe just because it was hot and I didn't transfer enough of their honey that maybe they either they were starving to death or because of the heat that they were absconding. You know, they, they couldn't figure out how to cool that hive properly and so they would just move. But what I just found in this hive here is uh, you can see a little bit of green right there on her back. It's a marked queen still in the cage. Now the candy plug was chewed out. It was clean, but she was killed in the cage. And uh, I don't recall which removal it was from because I did I did two removals where I used this cedar box and both removals the colonies didn't make it and I couldn't figure out why. So I actually don't remember which one, but I think it was the second one because I think I cleaned out most of the frames after the first one didn't work. Um, but yeah, so what I started thinking was when I was got uh, this last removal I did here, which is this hive, that was the one out of that tree job that I did, and I told you all that I thought they were getting robbed. And so, you know, I've taped it off and I uh, fed them and I gave them a new queen. Well, actually, there's, there's a caged queen in there right now. I don't know for sure if their other queen is still there or not, but they seem like things have calmed down. They're not getting robbed anymore, and, uh, you know, check the entrance and there is activity coming to and from. So I think maybe, maybe I've honed in on the problem here. I think these colonies, when I bring them home, I think they're getting robbed. And, uh, you know, they're not getting, they're not absconding, they're not swarming out, they're not starving to death. They're just straight getting killed, getting robbed out by all other hives. And uh, I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it's any time after the main honey flow, which for us, you know, our honey flow is pretty much the month of June. And, you know, I look back and that's exactly when the problems start. It's not, it's not heat, it's not the beetles. I think it's just straight rolling. So hopefully it's that simple. Uh, typically when I bring hives home, you know, I wasn't closing off the entrance. I wasn't doing a whole lot with them. I just bring them home, set them up, and let them go. And that always works just fine until late summer so starting now <laughs> you know my next removal I hope to do one tomorrow um, when I get them home I will button that entrance up tight 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 the other thing I'm gonna start doing on late summer removals is I'm gonna treat them more or less like a swarm I'm gonna move maybe a small scrap of brood comb but that's it nothing more um, because with this again with this one out of that tree you know everything went great I caught the queen within a couple hours and you know I dropped that tree which yes it pancaked the combs but I had um, you know I got the combs cut out and put back in frames and everything cleaned up within an hour or an hour or two whatever so it's not like the beetles really had time to destroy anything yet the bees rejected those combs I went back to pick them up that night and uh, everybody was outside the box very few bees inside and you know the next day I checked on them and sure enough they weren't covering the frames the frames were slimed out so that being said you know I'm just not gonna I'll maybe transfer one little scrap of brood comb just enough to you know keep the bees in there around their queen when she's in the cage but other than that I'm not gonna move anymore because they just for some reason late summer they don't cover it so what this all goes back to is I believe with the robbing anyway, I think there must be there must be some sort of stress stress pheromone is the only thing I can think. There must be a stressor pheromone that when these colonies get moved like this, that they emanate. Let me try to get her coming so y'all can see that green dot. It's hard to see, but oh, there we go. That pretty well, pretty well gives it to you. I think they must emanate some sort of stress pheromone when they get moved like that, and you know. I move them into my bee yard with all my other bees, and so if they're already not covering the combs and they're already hanging out outside, and then they emanate that stress pheromone, stress pheromone, I think it's just the perfect storm. So you know we're gonna try, we're gonna try to really change up quite a few things, and uh, you know like any good science experiment, I'm gonna change multiple variables at once. But 
that's just what it's got to go because I, I can't keep I can't keep bringing hives home and having them not stick. That's not what I intend to do. That's not my goal. And really, it's just not good. It, it, it makes absolutely no sense for me to bring a hive home and have it get robbed out and killed by all my other bees. It does. It doesn't do me any good. It doesn't do anybody else any good. It doesn't do the bees any good. So we got to stop that. But anyway. I think this just kind of seals the deal on that. Finding this queen killed in her own cage is really a that's really a bad deal. I don't like that. I'm not proud of it. But you know, like always, I share these things with y'all. So hopefully, you can learn from my mistakes and not repeat them.